What's going on guys, it's Franklin and I've been requested to do a video tutorial on how to find keywords for an AdSense website. I've been requested this by my followers so I think it's about time I got it uh, done for you guys. Now there's a few things um, that we're going to cover as what tools to use and uh, just generally how to do it. So the first thing you need is a tool and I use a Longtail Pro uh, for my keyword research. It's basically the best keyword research tool you can get. I mean you can do everything in here. It gives you all the right metrics, everything you need to know and it's hands down the best tool and it comes with a 10 day free trial if you click in the uh, link in the description or the link on this video and you can just uh, test it out and see if it's the right tool for you or not but i do suggest trying it out it's an excellent excellent tool if you're um, doing keyword research now keyword research is important if you're trying to rank websites so if you don't know much about key keywords uh, it's just what people type in google and you want to you want your site to be on the first page not necessarily first but just on the first page so once you have your um your program set up here this is our long tail pro you want to set a a uh, project. So put your title here and the country. Now I just want to cover something really quickly. When you set the country, all this means is it brings the search volume from that country. It does actually bring up the keyword competitiveness. It, it brings it um, calculates the keyword competitiveness off the IP that you're currently on. And a lot of people don't know this. It's kind of a bit of a secret because I, I found this out by mistake. So what happens is you is if you search from the United States, okay, you put uh, United States in here, it will come up with the search volume from United States. But then what will come up from the keyword competitiveness, the competition from whatever country you're searching from. So I'm in New Zealand, it will give me the competition, uh, com the keyword competition from New Zealand. Problem is, it will be a lot lower. Um, like this one here is 34. When I tested it from my New Zealand IP, it was 22. That's a massive difference. That's 12 point difference. But then when I changed it to uh, an American IP, I use uh, Hide My Ass Pro. I'll leave a link in the description. When I changed to American IP, the same country I'm actually wanting to rank for, it came up with 33 competitiveness. So this, this could really make or break your research because if you, are, uh, let's just say you're from Australia, and you have, you've set your um, long tail pro for UK or America or whatever. And then you search for a keyword and you find one that's uh, 12, um, keyword competition is 12, really, really, really low. And you're like, sweet, I found a keyword that I can rank for. Problem is it might be 12 uh, from Australia because you're an Australian IP, but in the USA or the UK or whatever you have your keyword um, long tail pro set to, it could be a lot higher. So this is giving you false information. So, so what I'm trying to say is before you do anything with keyword research, you need to make sure you're, you're on the same IP that you're uh, of the country that you're trying to rank for. This is very, very, very important. I can't stress it enough. Otherwise, you're going to get the wrong um, metrics. So once you've connected to uh, an IP, the next thing you want to do is start a project. So I've showed you that. You just simply go through here, uh, do this. And you want to add a keyword. So you click Find Keywords and go to Google Keyword Planner. And what I've done is you just simply put in a seed keyword. So uh, what I've done is I've put in pottery, okay? So we're going to go back to my pottery one. And then you just want to click Generate Keywords and Fetch Data. When I go back to pottery, it's come up with all my pottery stuff. I simply go to Local Searches and I want to go from the highest to the least. And there's two things you want to look at. Um, search Volume and Suggested suggested bid sorry suggested bid and the advertiser competition is important kind of i mean i don't really look at it a lot of people say it's very important because it gives you commercial intent it means that companies are willing to advertise on that keyword but i've never really taken it into consideration as long as the suggested bid is quite high uh, at least above at least over two dollars us i would probably um suggest uh, that's what i go for so anything above two dollars us you're, you're good to go. You don't need to really worry about this over here. So as you can see, I've found pottery painting for $3.29 New Zealand cents. So this is about $2.50 American. And I've also got one down here for, um, where is it? The coastal living furniture. Now, once you find one, you just want to simply click on the keyword. And it'll give you all the information here. So as you can see, it's got page authority, page links, uh, 
everything. So this this keyword here isn't uh, these things aren't actually very optimized. The titles. So this one doesn't even have the keyword in it. This one just has paint pottery. Uh, this one has paint pottery as well. So as if it comes down to the titles, I could probably do a lot better titles in this. So it'll give me a bit of a ranking advantage. Keyword competition. I don't really take this into consideration because the, I'll, I'll show you soon where the actual real work comes into it. And then you've got page authority, and then you've just got links. So links to that specific page are three, two, five. So I could probably rank and I think, I, but from looking at this, I could probably rank in third or fourth, depending on the kind of backlinks that these guys have. And then you've got domain authority, most rank, uh, which is quite important. I think you know the better the rank, the you know this one's our five point nine. Four, it's really up there, and you've got 5.17, 5.69. And then uh, page rank doesn't really matter anymore. And then you've got the age of the site. But I just want to show you something. Okay, so this one is 33. And if we go down to our other one, which is 30, Coastal Living Furnitures, this one will be a bit harder to rank for, even though it's got a lower keyword competitiveness, because it has very good titles. Um, you know, it's when, when, when um, websites have good titles, it means they've actually optimized their pages and their titles. You know, they've actually put effort into doing some on-page SEO. But then they have uh, some low links here and stuff. So maybe we would be able to rank for this. We don't know until we actually have a good look. So really, you just need to pick a keyword that has some good um, cost per click here. What this means is it, when someone clicks on your advert, you could potentially get $3.23 per click roughly but it also depends on the country the person's clicking from so if they're clicking from america you might get that and if they're clicking from somewhere like indonesia you might get a really really low cost per click it just depends on the country and then you've got searches so uh i like to go for my main keyword anything above a thousand between kind of i don't know i, I like to go high for my main keyword i found one the other day that was eight thousand and i'm trying to rank for that and the reason i want to go high is because that's my main keyword uh with, with the rest of the keywords, so let's say your main keywords for your for your main site, and then you've got your articles that you want to add in. Uh, so I would do a keyword for each of my articles, and I'll go a lot less. I would go maybe around eight eight hundred, a thousand, six hundred, uh, you know, just. But these don't have very high uh, cost per clicks in this niche here. Oh, this one does. So two dollars forty one. That's not too bad. I could probably, you know, I could probably rank an article for that just later on once I grow my site a bit a bit bigger. This one here actually is five dollars, five dollars thirty one. You know, so you just got to um, really look and just find the keywords that have the high suggested bids and the lo uh, good high local searches. Now, it doesn't stop here. This is the easy part. The next part is where the work actually happens. So you want to go into your browsers and you want to simply search for your uh, keyword right here. And this is important. You need to actually look at every single site on the top 10. And the reason is you want to see what kind of design they have and how much content they have. As you can see from this website, it's very, very content thin. There's not much content on content on here. And this is a very, very good sign because it means you're probably going to have a good chance of outranking these guys. All you've got to do is make a better page with more information, more keyword rich information, better on page optimization, and you're going to rank outrank it. You could possibly even outrank it without backlinks, to be honest. I mean, I've done that plenty of times before. This one is the same, okay? Uh, not much content, you know. The, these are based; these aren't really based on article type sites. These are our businesses. You could possibly outrank these. Um, and this one here as well, same thing. You could possibly outrank this as well. And then we've got this one isn't too bad. Not really much information here. Oh, they've got a very big um, social following, so that could probably help them out quite a lot. And then this one here is definitely not much information here as well. So you could definitely probably outrank this one as well and that's it um the next thing is really to look at backlinks but i just want to show you something before we go so as you see how i've got a thing called moz rank uh, moz bar you can use this to do some more um in-depth analysis of it but if we go back to our long tail pro it's already actually got it in the uh thing here anyway so links coming in uh like you know all, all sorts of stuff here and this is all you really need to um, look at. So for this one here, you would probably, you know, uh, 22. This would, this will be an easy one to beat. You would only need probably three or four really good links or one or two really, really, really good links to uh, beat this one. It's, this one would be really easy to beat. And to be honest, I might try and rank in this one uh, myself. So that's it for this, this part. It's super easy. You just got to find the keywords and find one that you're happy with and then do some more deep analysis. Now, the... The best, you know, 
the best thing you could do is check the backlinks of every single page on the top 10. And I know it's a very, very tedious task, can take a long time, but this will determine whether you're going to rank or not. It's any Anyone can come into a program like this, pick a keyword and try rank for it, but it's not always going to work. And you've got to understand that this is what everyone's trying to do. But so we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to actually look at some backlinks. Uh, I'll show you how to find the backlinks and decide whether you can rank for that keyword or not. All right, so we're going to check the backlinks now. This is uh, probably the most important part, okay, because you want to know how strong the backlinks are that are coming to the pages in the top 10. So I've picked this website here, which is vangrowstudio.com. And I'm using a program called SEO Spyglass. And this is also, uh, they have a free version. It could be limited, I'm not sure. I haven't used a free version before. But I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, this just makes checking backlinks so much easier. There's so much information you can check and stuff like that. So this is all the backlinks from that website. Uh, we're not gonna go through all of these right here. And then it's got backlink details, uh, pen penalty risk. So this means, I haven't actually checked them all, but it means uh, it'll sh bring up their bad links, which is kind of good because you can tell how much, uh, if a site has any bad links and stuff like that. This one uh, doesn't really have any at the moment. And then this is the links from home page. Now these are the most powerful links. So this, this site had three links coming in and these are these are them here. These are the ones you really need to worry about because home page links are very, very powerful. And all you simply do is click on the links, click on that one, click on this one, and we'll click on this one. And you simply just want to have a look through. Um, I mean, this, li this link is a really crappy link. All it is is a blogspot post a uh, blogspot um, blog here and that's it so they've got a link somewhere from here they've got a link from uh, a directory here and they've also got a link from some summer camp thing here fort worth summer camps org these are really really bad links so you could easily beat those three links there without a problem then you've got then you've got backlinks from blogs and forums this is kind of the same thing, you know, just go through, you don't need to go through all of those because otherwise it'll take a long time. Just go through one every now and then, uh, you know, just go through them here. So they've got a they've got a link on here somewhere. It could be in one of these. It could be a blog comment on here. Any, it could be anywhere on here. Same with this one. It's got a link here as well. It could be in the comment section on one of their posts. Or it might have got del deleted from here. We don't know. So you simply just got to go through and have a look. And then it's got here, you know, uh, no follow or do follow. So these are all no follows. These ones here. So they don't actually really do anything for the rankings anyway. These ones are do follows. And the best thing about this program here, SEO Spyglass, is you can actually steal their backlinks. So all you got to do is go through and just kind of, you know, if, if they've got a blog post, you just steal a blog post as well on the same blog post or on the same forums and stuff like that. So this one here is just a just a blog. So they've obviously done a probably done a comment somewhere here. Uh, where are we press the buy. So if we click here, maybe this is it here. No, that's not it. Maybe this one. Anyway, they have they have a link on there somewhere. And then that I mean that's it really you've just got to go through and just do a lot of manual work and don't rely on the keyword research tool too much I mean that's just to really find the keywords for you and give you a bit of a guideline so this is a, a link backlinks from directories let's check this one out here and there's a link somewhere on here and the best thing about this is this is, is this is a directory so you can submit your own link if you want as well so you basically just steal their backlink and there you go you've got a backlink to your website for free and this just shows this shows uh, if there's any traffic coming from the backlinks so if you really look at it there's not much backlinks this, these guys have it's all from the same websites um, homepage links are three super easy to beat they don't really have any high penalty risk links for that doesn't really matter and that's it um, you know do this for all 10 sites you can also do some pretty cool stuff on here so you can go to domain strength here uh, the domain strength is 1.85, PR2, Alexa rank, how many pages are indexed, how many links are do follow, how many links are no follow, uh, social signals. You can do uh, reports on it. So it'll give you a report here. 
you can print out or you can send public you know do whatever really and um, you know backlink details here so yeah SEO spyglass is really good if you want to get into serious keyword research Th these are my main tools okay so Longtail Pro finding the keywords and then you've got Google for uh, just checking out the site seeing, seeing what they look like and stuff like that and then you've got us uh, SEO spyglass or whatever backlink program you want to use to check the backlinks and definitely you have to check the backlinks okay this is so important because what if you go what if you find a keyword okay uh, let's just go back to one of our ones here what if you find a keyword that has two backlinks but and you think oh, yeah, I can outrank this but you don't check the backlinks and what if it has a backlink from Huffington Post or Forbes or any big authority news sites or any just massive authority sites if you don't check that you don't know so if you start seeing sites of backlinks from BBC News uh, Huffington Post BuzzFeed and stuff like that you're gonna find I have a hard time outranking them because those sites have so much authority in Google so you need to check every single one that you want to outrank so if I want to outrank uh, if I want to get to the just this position here I'll only check these ones here I won't bother about the rest until I actually want to outrank these guys and and that's it you just simply want to check the backlinks and this is so important I can't stress it enough because that that that's what will kill your campaign if you go through all this effort of finding a keyword in here you think it's all good to go you make your website and then you start doing SEO and you're wondering why your your website's not ranking it's because you're putting a whole bunch of links to your site that kind of have you know average authority but then you've got things like um, the sites that you're trying to outrank have uh, links from Forbes or uh, BuzzFeed or something like that so it's very very important to check these and you know once you've once you've found your keyword you've done all your checks and you're ready to go make your websites and have a plan and then I tell you what you're gonna rank and you're gonna start making some money online these AdSense website AdSense websites are very good money makers if you have enough of them and I hope that answered your question for the guy that asked me to do this tutorial. I actually had a few guys ask me, so, you know, um, I hope that really helped you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, just before you leave, if you liked this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I bring out videos every single week about affiliate marketing, making money online, ranking websites in Google, and heaps more. You can also get my free ebook on how I rank my websites in Google and outrank my competitors. It's 100% free. Just click on the ebook below this image. Feel free to also check out any of my other videos on the left over there and I'll see you on my next video.